G'day everyone, welcome to the Open Mills. So welcome to all the new subscribers, we've just breached 2,000, awesome. And this is just to explain to everyone new, um, my little channel, sharing a little bit of what I do with Opal and what I get up to with Opal and Opal related things from mining, buying parcels, cutting Opal, setting Opal in silversmithing, um, doublets, inlay, um, matrix, different varieties of matrix and then treating them. And now to add to the repertoire, um, gonna try 18 karat gold. So we're gonna be making a pendant in this video with a doublet. Very nice, beautiful doublet. Three point three carat. So that's our task for this video, and I've tried to sparingly buy the gold as it's quite expensive, um, and I'm hoping I've got enough. So we're going to use a four mil by one mil for a bezel. And also the leftover bit will be the bale, a fixed bale. Uh, we have some heavy solder, 18 karat, and also some uh, half mil round wire uh, we're gonna use to close in the back so the stone sits on. So it'll be an open back. And uh, this I'm sort of put off and put off long enough. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about doing this one. I'll be straight up and uh, I don't want to wreck it. So I'm just gonna yeah, go through this briefly as I do it and try and film as much as I can. Um, forgive me for bits I miss, but I'll try and explain most of what's happened anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get the tools ready. Um, first we'll probably have to anneal the uh, bezel and then we'll start getting it around the stone. Okay, so we've got our saw, the beeswax, file, ring forming pliers, and some flat curved pliers. So we'll start by taking these apart, finding our bezel. pinched ends so we need to flatten those flush those up and um, before we start so we'll pick the straightest cut that's a bit of an angle on that cut um, and here's where we start losing some dollars immediately just trimming it up okay so we've got our piece all fold up Nice and square. Didn't take too much off and I kept the filings. So from what I understand, working with gold should be the same as working with silver, but a little bit more heat required. So from the pickle to, well, you've got to use 18 karat solder, obviously, and not silver. So the obvious things um, are the difference, but for the most part, I'm just going to pretend this is silver and I'm just going to ignore that it's gold while I do this. So we'll just anneal it. There we go. That's all she needs. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Just grab this. Come down here. Bench. And there we have it all annealed, ready to go. Alright, so we're going to grab our stone. I'm going to go from, I reckon, the top, bring it down, have the joint at the top. 
So, ring forming pliers. Curved side, flat side. Curved side obviously goes on the inside. Okay, try to keep that cut as straight as I possibly could all the way through, nice and square, nice and straight, so it'll butt up against the other one very nicely. All that's needed is to get them to face each other. This is where we lose our shape. Still got a gap up the top here, so they're not quite facing each other yet. Alright, so I'm happy enough with that. Let me go ahead and solder for the first time. <laughs> so here we have... One... A small bit of our gold solder. 
just giving that a bit of a quick pickle. I'm going to give it some flux. Giving it a bit of a shape as it's come out of the pickle. A reshape. So I'm pretty happy with the way this sits in there. It doesn't go all the way in yet, but I haven't touched this with a file yet. On the inside. So it's sort of only just a smidge here and there. Mainly on these sort of corner bits. It's fine everywhere else, but that'll fit in nicely. And so after I tidy this center up, we'll have to get on with some of this and make an insert for the bottom. So I'm just gonna do a bit of filing for a minute. Okay, so we've got our stone in, finally. In enough to bezel over. So we're gonna set our wire insert step. Okay, so we got him to sit in there. I'm gonna go solder it while it's in place. All right, now to tidy it up. Probably needs a bit longer in the pickle. I'm gonna have to get some out, out some of these little working marks from where I've been working. And smooth it out, ready to form a bale. It'll be a fixed bale on this one. So hopefully we've got enough gold left over. <laughs> Okay, out the pickle. I'm just gonna tidy up around this edge. Start getting it 400, 800, and ready for uh, soldering on the bale. So I'll get that done, come back. Okay, so the bale's in the pickle at the moment, and I'm just about to go get that out. It's got a stamp but the uh, stamp was a fair bit worn, so I'm hoping it stamped it enough. Um, 750, which represents 750 parts of a thousand, which is three quarters of 100%, 75%. So 18 karat gold is 75% gold and 25% other copper and stuff to make it a bit stronger. Uh, so 750 parts out of a thousand, uh, translates to if you divided a 24 carat, consider 24 carat 100% or a thousand parts, and if you have 18 carats out of 24 carat, 
divide 6 into 24 is 4, goes into 18, 3, so it's 3 quarters of 24. 3 quarters of 24, it's 3 quarters. Convert to the parts, well, 75%, 750 parts out of 1,000. So that's just how you convert all those numbers. So it can be 18K or 750, either which one. So I happen to get hold of a 750 stamp. That's what I've gone with, so I'll go get that out. <laughs> okay, so it is there. Keep my hands still. Let's rest it. Seven five zero. I think I might have double stamped it accidentally. It's clearly seven five zero, so that's the best it's gonna be marked. And now we've got to get this into a bale shape. So I'm gonna get the tools out and start that. Right, so the plan for this is to have a three by five or five by three mil hole on the inside, or well, hopefully around that. 3.3 by 5 um, to fit a chain in by request. So I'm going to start by coming up about 5 6 mil, start the bend, do it around to the front. So I'll just do that off camera. Alright, there we go. I've uh, managed to get a bale, a 3 by 5 gap. Giving it a bit of a file through there with a half round so it matches and sits nicely with the back. So I'm going to go head over and solder that on. And once that's done, it's just a case of filing back this bezel. Just a little touch on it, a bit of an angle to bring it up to this edge on the inside that can be then just folded in just a touch. That's all it needs. So I'll go and get this done. Okay, jumped ahead, tidied it up. Just trying to get this video done. Forgot to press record, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, all I've done is put it in the pickle after getting the bale on, and then just gone over it. I sort of piled in just around here, just to taper that right into the join. And yeah, 400, 800, 1200. Oh, and filed the bezel. So we've got a nice thin edge there to fold over. I think it just started raining outside. This would be fun. Um, so I'm going to get to and we'll get this in there. It's sitting nice and flat all the way around. Just enough bezel to fold over all the way around. So I'll get to and do that and I'll come back with the finished product. It'll basically be like that, um, but polished.
And there we go. So that's the finished piece. The first ever working with gold. Really mitts and wiped it a few times with the cloth, taking a fine polish off. I'll have to get another one. But there we are. Oops. Creek crack goes the bench. So colour all the way around with this stone. So I'm kind of impressed, to be honest, with the result myself. Um, Need to get the stamps. No, it's legible. I don't know what happened over here. I think I did a light, not hard enough one. I think gave it a good one. But it's still legible, 750. And it's ready to be worn. So all my fears are over. I can stop panicking now. Finished. It was not much different to working with silver. It took a lot more heat. Not a lot, <coughs> excuse me. Not a lot, but a, a you know, considerable amount more heat uh, than I expected, I suppose, um, I'm trying to say. But yeah, other than that, past the fear of, is it gonna melt on me? No, it just took the heat and the solder flowed and happy days. So, give it a go if you ever get the uh, opportunity and you're into silver. Don't be afraid to go to gold and just pretend you're working with silver like I did. And it'll turn out just as good as your silver, but it'll be gold. <laughs> so there we go. On with the next video. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this one. Cheers.